is. Uh, suicide, really, really important. We're talking about big data, how it can change society. It has been shown that you can predict, again, it's not surprising. If you think about it, it makes perfect sense. You can predict suicide rates in an area based on Google searches, searches for suicidal, suicide help, how to commit suicide, highly predictive of suicide rates in that area, and much more predictive of surveys if you just ask people, do you have suicidal ideation? And I'm actually doing work on this now uh, using a different data set where you actually can analyze individuals over time. So Google searches, you can't do that, but it's also a search data set. I'm analyzing, it's interesting with searches, you can actually see what people search before they search suicide. And that's really an interesting and important question because we don't always know maybe the truth of why people have these thoughts that make them think of suicide. And I saw that uh, the main reason people search for suicide, according to the, all the data I've seen, is health problems. So that's more common than marital problems or financial problems. It's some sort of health problem is the plurality of reason that people followed up with the Google searches. And I was, the number one health condition that is followed by a search for suicide was not surprising at all, depression. We didn't need Google searches to tell us that. If someone's searching depression, you know, depressed symptoms, they tend to follow it up with how to commit suicide. We know, have long known, that depression is a major risk factor for suicide. Again, before we had any search data, that's well known. But I found that some diseases were more surprising. So one of them that was near the top in likelihood, if you, people make a search suggesting they have that diagnosis, following it up with a search for suicide, herpes, the STD. Yeah, that shocked me. I'm like, herpes? I had no idea, would have never thought this is a disease that people would greet uh, with a thought of suicide. And I think we also wouldn't find it with surveys, because if you ask people in a survey, people are sometimes embarrassed to admit they have herpes, embarrassed to admit they're thinking of suicide, and embarrassed to admit that herpes is causing them to commit suicide. And in this data set I was looking of a lot of anonymous searchers over time, uh, a lot of it was young people, teenagers, young adults. They get diagnosed with herpes, and even though herpes, the physical symptoms aren't very severe, the stigma is so great that the young people think their life is ruined, that they basically have a scarlet letter now around them, that they can never be the same because they got this diagnosis. And I think uh, this is really problematic as a society. I think if you followed these people over time, if many of them...